San Francisco Maritime National Historical Park, a place that combines scenic beauty with history. Located at the edge of the San Francisco Bay in the Fisherman's Wharf neighborhood, this park includes a fleet of historic vessels, a visitor's center, a maritime museum, and a research library. One of its attractions is the USS Pompanito, a Second World War submarine museum and memorial. Pompanito made six patrols in the Pacific during the war, sinking six Japanese ships and damaging four others. Another ship at the park is the Belclutha, a three-masted, steel-hulled, square-rigged ship launched in 1886 to carry a variety of cargo all over the world. There's also the C.A. Thayer, a wooden-hulled, three-masted schooner built in Northern California in 1895 for carrying lumber, along with other floating historical ships along the park. Hercules is the steam-powered tug built in 1907 for ocean towing. It towed sailing ships, disabled vessels, barges, and log rafts, among others. It towed a caisson for a dry dock at Pearl Harbor and a caisson used in the construction of the Panama Canal lock. The Maritime Museum is located in the Bathhouse Building, a unique structure designed in the streamlined modern style, a late Art Deco period that mimics the clean lines of an ocean liner. Its interior is decorated with fantastic and colorful murals created by the artists Sergeant Johnson and Hilaire Hiller. The steamship room illustrates the technological evolution of maritime power, from wind to steam. The second floor displays three photo murals of the early San Francisco waterfront, as well as lithographic stones, scrimshaw, and whaling guns. The third floor is used to display visiting expositions. The Visitor Center is housed in the park's 1909 waterfront warehouse, and its exhibition tells the story of San Francisco's colorful and diverse maritime heritage. Finally, the research library focuses on sail and steam on the west coast of the United States and the Pacific Basin from 1520 to the present day. The collection includes the archived records of many shipbuilders and ship owners, as well as many documents such as vessel and shipyard architectural drawings, charts, and maps. As you can see, there's a lot to do in this park, so just begin with a walk on the pier to visit the park's collection of floating historical ships and for the breathtaking views of the San Francisco Bay and Golden Gate Bridge.